Some of y'all are shy. By Hashem, Rakat Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. Uh, Salutations to Yoakim, pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity. So, let me just go get into it, right? Um, all right, because uh, you have this controversy. Um about the MOTB with these other camps, right? And basically what they're saying is that um, the MOTB is sin, all right? And they're saying that um, all small and great is not talking about individuals, which the brothers have been done a great job in debunking that. Because it's not going to be a, a whole nations that get their head chopped off for not taking it. It's going to be individuals. All right, so it's just a stupid statement. But my question to you is, if the MOTB is sin, how how can it be talking about the all nations when the only nations that was given the law was the nation of Israel? So the only nation that can sin is the nation of Israel. Now I'm going to go into this is Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, that no man might buy no or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay. So he calls it all, both small and great. Okay, so you're saying that uh, the MOTB is sin. Very simple, okay? This is First John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth the law, for sin is the transgression of the law, okay? So sin is the transgression of the law. How do you sin? You sin by breaking the law. Now, who was given the law? Right, and this is, uh, you know, this is Deuteronomy uh, 4 and 4. But ye that did cleave unto Yahweh, your power are alive, every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahweh my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have the power so nigh unto them as the Yahweh power is in all things that we call upon him for? All right. So we were given these laws, and these laws were to uh, excel us above all other nations, right? And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? So these laws uh, 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 were given to the Israelites. All right. Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, 
but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shall, for then shall, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Right. So it is the laws that uh, excelled us above these other nations. And without this law, we were considered heathens. Okay. So my question to WFI and to IUIC and everybody who says the, the, uh, the MOTB is sin, how can the nations buy and sell with, with sin? Number one, that's impossible. Number two, how can, how can it be sin and the nations was not given the law? The only people who can sin are Israelites. See, you guys have, uh, you tore your ass on this one, man. You literally, you, 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 I mean, you really tore your ass on this one, man. Okay. Because <laughs> it doesn't make any damn sense, man. The nations that outside of Israel were not given the law, therefore they can't sin. All right. So it doesn't make any sense, man. You know, so that's my question. Somebody explain that to me, man. Um, it's a quick little something. Um, Shalom.